Maccabim Revi'i, four Maccabees, 14. And more than this, they even urged them on to this ill treatment, so that they not only despised pains themselves, but they even got the better of their affections of brotherly love. O oh, reasonings more royal than a king, and freer than free men! Sacred and harmonious concert of these seven brethren as concerning piety. None of the seven youths turned cowardly or shrank back from death, but all of them as though running to the road, rather running the road to immortality, hastened on to death through tortures. For just as hands and feet are moved sympathetically with the directions of the soul, so those holy youths agreed unto death for the sake of the belief, as through the immortal soul of the belief. O holy seven of harmonious brethren, for as the seven days of creation about the belief, so the youths circling around the number seven annulled the fear of torments. We now shudder at the recital of the affliction of those young men, but they not only beheld, and not only heard the immediate execution of the threat, but undergoing it, persevered, and that through the pains of fire. And what could be more painful? For the power of fire, being sharp and quick, speedily dissolved their bodies. And think it not wonderful that reasoning bore rule over those men in their torments, when even a woman's mind despised more manifold pains. For the mother of those seven youths endured the rackings of each of her children. And consider how comprehensive is the love of offspring, which draws everyone to sympathy of affection. Where irrational animals possess a similar sympathy, and love for their offspring with men. The tame birds frequenting the roofs of our houses defend their fledglings. Others build their nests and hatch their young in the tops of mountains and in the precipices of valleys and the holes and tops of trees and keep off the intruder. And if not able to do this, they fly circling round them in agony of affection, calling out in their own note and save their offspring in whatsoever manner they are able. But why should we point attention to the sympathy toward children shown by irrational animals? The very bees at the season of honey-making attack all who approach and pierce with their sting as with a sword those who draw near their hive and repel them even unto death. But sympathy with her children did not turn aside the mother of the young men, who had a ruach kindred with that of Avraham.